Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Hobbits. Today, joined by Brett of Anomyces, checking out some West Coast Double IPA. It's been a long time. Well, we had a few West Coast IPAs as of late, but not a double IPA. I don't think we've had one no. since Mongo. No. Last year. No. Uh, so, and this one is fresh. This is how old? Three, four weeks old? Three weeks. Yeah, so super fresh. This was a, a quite new release from Track Brewing in the UK. Yeah, the first release. This year. Yeah, and I talked about in earlier videos that it seemed like it was going downhill with releases from the UK and whatnot. It seems to only be web shops because the import companies still do get it, and we are going to have putty coming next week okay. to Denmark. So um, it looks like we're still doing, you know, good with the it's UK stuff, decent, but yeah. it's it seems like it's just harder for the UK to get stuff from Europe into the country. Yeah. That's the deal. But uh, yeah, it's you can definitely see it with the UK people, especially on forums, they have so many, many troubles getting yeah. boxes from Europe Oof. now. P it's getting stuck in customs for weeks and yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, we're checking out this new release from Track. It's part of their uh, digital age of virtual collabs. Because of COVID, they haven't been able to do many collabs. So they've done this digital age series where they do virtual collaborations with breweries around the world, talk about the recipes and whatnot and, and brew it and release it. Mm. And this one was made with Bagby from America, that you guys might know if you like West Coast IPA, quite known for West Coast IPA. Old school. Yes. And Crops Be Hops, and this is their Managing Expectations. West Coast Double IPA with CY 2020 Centennial Hops, not 8%, and only Centennial Hops. Yes. And yeah, it says here as well, yeah, just barley and wheat malt in here. Yeah. Hops Apparently juice. quite a light. Mold base, which you can probably also tell. Yeah. It's very light for a double IPA. Yeah. So it almost, yeah, it looks like a single IPA. Yeah, it looks great. It looks, yeah. it does look like a single West Coast IPA, new school West Coast yeah. IPA. Cause very it's light, so lightly hazy. And golden yellow, very nice, very nice white head to it as well. Yeah. But interesting, just Centennial, but Centennial was one of the more fruity old school hops too. Yeah. So let's tell your aroma. Super mm. grapefruity. Yeah. Wow, pithy, but it's yeah, almost yeah, yeah. pineapple too. Yeah, I definitely see that. Pineapple oh, yes, skin is like normal. really that fragrant. Almost like dried almost. pineapple, but it's yeah. super perfumey and yeah, fragrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells really good. It's like grapefruit perfume or like yeah. pineapple perfume. And, oh, and, and yeah, yeah, the perfumey grapefruit. Totally. And also just like that sensation of peeling something. Yeah, you know? the oils. Yeah. Because yeah. it has you know, like open oil. Or peel an orange. If you peel a pineapple or a grapefruit or just cut through it, that aroma. It has a bit of uh, like da pineapple dankness too, mm -hmm. like pineapple kush, as yeah. we've said sometimes. And then underneath all the fruitiness, there's hints of pine and resin. Yeah. But it's definitely fruitiness that shines. Yeah, yeah it's it like a very bright, modern mm -hmm. West Coast. Light drink. crackery malt. Yeah. It smells fantastic. Yeah. Let's go and say cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's really good West Coast IPA. Mm. Nice bitterness, yep. assertive, like medium, but nothing crazy. No, it's like a medium, or like 60, 70 medium. IBUs. Yeah, it's not like I'm curious. It's not a crazy IBU count. No, but it's but it's it dries out nicely. Yeah, it has a bit of sweetness too. Yeah, but I think I think it's actually very much in balance. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Mandating expectations. That was not what I was writing. There's like a combination of dryness and like a medium, medium. Definitely IBU. For a West Coast IPA, maybe a medium minus bitterness, but yeah, yeah, it's it's very balanced actually. I think, yeah, it's not. It's it's very well balanced. It has a bit more sweetness than the average West Coast IPA. I will say that. Uh, and then again, no, because a lot of the des double IPA, West Coast double IPA, it dries actually, out quite quickly. It, it dried out, but they did have some malt sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely think Mongo had as much sweetness in, as yeah. this one. I'm, I'm personally much more into single IPAs when it comes to West, West Coast. Coast. Yeah, me too. Yes. I think it works better because I like it than less sweet, mm. but I still think this is a very yeah, good example. No, not too sweet at all, but no. on the flavor, there's definitely more of a pine and a pith and a resin flavor, yeah. but it's very bright and very new school. It's a very impressive that they get this much fruitiness out of Centennial. Like, mm -hmm. lots of pineapple, lots of bright citrus, uh, and yeah, grapefruit, pithy notes as well. There's that also sweet bit floral. of crackery, bready malt. As you said, medium bitterness. 
Yeah. Medium, very slick mouthfeel, actually. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of this, the sweetness. It's a very good West Coast Old IPA. Mm. Very, very good. One of the better interpretations of the style I've had in, in Europe. In yeah. while, I'd say. And the carbonation isn't too low, which yeah. it often is with EU West Coast IPAs. Yeah, it's, it has to be, like with West Coast IPAs, it has to be super carbonated, not super, but quite effervescent, mm. really bone dry and yeah. bitter. Yeah. Like it just dries out your palate, you go for another sip, but it has to be some sort of balance so that it's not all dry and it feels like the inside of your mouth is being turned inside out. Because I think that's one of the problems a lot of times, because sometimes, I think there was a point in time with craft beer that it was just, it had to be bitter, more bitter, more bitter, yeah. more bitter. Because <laughs> bitter was a cool thing. It just kill your way. palate. But it just works better when it's, you know, in balance with everything. Very nice new school West Coast IPA. This is kind of like Beechwood style. Uh, it kind of spoke like the Great, the great Ocean. Ocean. Yeah, yeah, Afterlife we yeah. had. Um, I think I, yeah. Afterglow, not Afterlife, Afterglow. I enjoyed that one a little bit more. Yeah, because it was I'm, a single I'm just and a bit more into the single. Yeah. West it's because you can drink more of them. Yeah. Like this has a bit too much malt. Well, not too much, but it has just more mm. malt presence. I prefer when they're single IPA. It has the right amount of malt for a double IPA. And, and speaking of West Coast IPA, I'm crossing my fingers here, but our good friend Joe from Jars of Hay is trying to help us out with some Pliny the Younger. Yeah. Even though we just said we prefer singles, yeah, yeah. but that's a fucking bucket list beer. I hope yeah, you yeah. find. Like the thing is, we tried to get some up. on the sale, but we didn't get any. It was done in five minutes. But yeah, I was there right when it got on sale. I was in line to go to the cart. When I got to the cart, it said sold out. Yeah, and so it's but more about. He didn't get any either, so he was just trying to see if he can find some. And he said, "I'll try and see if I can get you a bottle too," which is awesome. So thanks, Joe. We'll see what happens. If yeah. it doesn't happen, that's okay too. It's just beer. But man, I'd love to try it one point. Mm. But with that one, it's more about, you know, trying it rather than preference. Because you just want to, you know... But then again... Yeah, yeah it's also... I think it's going to be really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. From everyone I know that's had it, it's not cloyingly sweet or anything. And no. it's a crazy fruity West Coast IPA. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm definitely sure it's just, again, my preference is still single singles. Singles, yeah. When it's West I think Coast. we need to try and get you some fresh blind pig. That is like one yeah, of the best yeah. West Coast IPAs. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to try that. Blind Pig is fantastic. Um, as for this, it's it's got a little bit, you know, the new school approach. Almost, you know, some of the brightness you'd find in a New England IPA. I could expect them to do some fermentation dry hopping or just loads, mostly whirlpool and dry hopping yeah. on this. But I actually think this is very good. Yeah. I think it's one of the better. I think like you... 93, 4? Yeah. 4 probably, 94? Yeah. So fantastic West Coast IPA. But I and I don't don't want to go ninety five because I don't think no, it's no, as good as no, uh, Afterglow. No. But yeah, ninety three, ninety four, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was thinking like ninety three, dead, dead solid mm. ninety three. Mm. Yeah. Really good, yeah. really thirst crunching and refreshing. Yeah, and it, it, it does get too cloying yeah. for a double IPA, which is very nice. But we have a double New England IPA from them as well mm -hmm. to try. Might try that after. Mm -hmm. uh, totally different ballpark, but yeah, yeah. we've been told it's one of like the better track beers a lot of people have had. So generally, track have been track lately <laughs> on on track with their releases. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> right, one of you. I did it off camera. Uh, you have to say that in your uh, video, please. <laughs> but they are on track <laughs> and not on crack. Uh, this is nice. So if you guys had the track brewing crops be hops. And Bagby managing expectations. West Coast double IPA. Let me know what you thought of it. Or yeah. Let us know. Very very nice. Get it right now. It's out. It's fresh. And it's in Denmark and the rest of Europe. I'm taking it too. So yeah. If you had it, guys, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're on the website. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys in another beer review.